Good morning. So yesterday, my mother-in-law and I canned chicken. So this is the chicken that we grew, we raised and slaughtered and had in the freezer. Well, my family's not as big as it was. So we're not going, and we actually did like 50 Cornish hens and roosters they're just young ones so anyway we did 50. we have so much chicken that we didn't want it to get freezer burned before we could use it all so when thought it cut it off the bone and canned it so now this which we'll probably do more probably do another batch this is canned chicken so you take <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. You take raw chicken. Well, you cut it off the bone first. And you take that raw chicken and you pack it in a jar. And you add about an inch of water to your jar. That's it. And you add one teaspoon of salt. And you can also add spices. So some of them, this only has salt in it. This has some Italian seasoning in it. So that's what that is. So I did do half of them with Italian seasoning, half of them with just salt. I've got a few more to do. So today I'm going to try canning some with a chipotle. It just has to be spices only. It can't have thickeners in it and other things other than if it's spice, then you can, then it's nice. Okay. You don't have to use canning salt. You can use any type of salt. I just have a whole bunch of canning salt, so I go ahead and use that. But yeah, this will be good for a very long time, and it won't get freezer burned. And that's why I did it, because I don't... Nobody likes to eat freezer burned foods. And when you've got something... This was an investment, so we're protecting our investment. Now it's ready for the shelf instead of the freezer. And there, my canner only does seven. I have, I can do seven in it, seven quarts or seven pints. Actually, I could do like 14 pints, but yeah. Anyway, I probably will do at least one more batch, but it's really simple. It's, it's literally simple. You sterilize your jars. You boil some water. You put about one inch of water in it. The rest of the water comes from the meat. And you pack it full of raw meat. You put one teaspoon of salt in it. And a half a teaspoon of a, another spice if you want another spice. You clean the rim, the ring. You know, before you put the, before you put the seal on it, you got to clean the rim, make sure there's no salt or water, food particles, whatever. You clean it, put your seal on it, put your ring on it, and you hand tighten it only. You do not over tighten it. And then you just put them in your canner. And that has like two inches of water in it. There's a line in there that shows you where to see the lines on the side. And it tells you. Plus, once you've used it, you're going to have that watermark always. But yeah, you put the two inches of water in there. You put your seven jars of raw packed chicken in there. You put your lid on it. You heat it up. You wait till the pressure valve goes up and you put your timer on for 10 minutes. And all you're doing is getting all the pressure out of there. You're allowing it to steam. Once it's done its steaming for 10 minutes, you put a 10 pound weight on it <clears throat> if you have a weighted pressure canner that's five pounds each weight is five pounds there's your 10 pounds of weight you put that on the little valve at the top and then you wait for it to start rocking once it starts rocking don't come knocking on the door go to the front door <laughs> You don't want to rattle this, is what I'm trying to say. 
you cut the temperature down to get it to where it's a very slow rattle and you set your timer for an hour and a half and then all that raw chicken is not raw anymore it's cooked and yeah it's not pretty you know meat in a jar is not always pretty but who cares it tastes great you know it's going to have where it just like it does in a pot or anything you're cooking in you're going to have that matrixy stuff like on your jar whatever it it's it doesn't matter <laughs> it just don't matter so i wanted to share that i hope everybody has a great day and positive and encouraging peace